bam, pop. Kids of all ages like surprises and interactive cards, especially on special occasions. Just look at what these cards do when opened. Pop. Bam. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik and I love to make my grandkids smile with special interactive cards and surprises and little gifts inside. And I made this card with the new BAM die set from Karen Berniston. BAM box pop-up. Um, that box right there pops up when the card is opened. Here's another one I made. This one is for my younger grandson who loves Transformers. So it says do not transform with a picture of a Transformer there. And the inside pops up. See how those, they just, they're very strong. They pop up. Those are more Transformers. You are awesome just the way you are. Happy Valentine's Day with a little gift inside. The die set, the BAM box pop-up die set, gives you two of the main pieces. Um, but you only need one if you just want one uh, BAM pop-up. And I'm going to show you how easy that is to put together. So you cut one of the main pieces, and um, there are scored lines in there, and you're going to fold down in a mountain fold on the first three of the scored lines. Try to do that straight would be good. And then the next one you're going to fold up on. I guess this linen paper doesn't show me the lines really clearly. But I can see them well enough to do it. And then you're going to go down on the next two. And of course you can reinforce those with a bone folder if need be. And then um, you're going to flip it over and um, on the inside there, uh, in between the two that have the circles on the top, the valley fold there, you're going to add some good strong glue to that. and hold it while that sets up. Now Karen recommends the um, size 8 firm rubber bands and she has those available on her website in smaller packages. Now if you want a really big package and they are available on Amazon as well. Um, but other sizes do work as well. Now, of course, Karen has a video on her website of all her die sets. And um, she does show several different sizes that you could use. Um, but I did get the size 8. So um, then you flip it over. And we're going to take this size 8 rubber band. And I'm going to put it in the... Um, those little holes that are created in that center flap. And then I'm going to take this center piece and I am going to um, fold it um, under that crescent shaped there that again, and the die set is very ingenious and it has everything you need. Um, if you fold that crescent shape down and then you take the rubber band and you want it to go into the holes on the in that crescent shape that are there and so that's what you have so far and then 
I am going to apply glue. You push that crescent shape back up into the, the place it was and then you apply glue all over this piece here. And then you're going to fold it down uh, to create a box. Once that's set up a little bit, you can push it down to seal that last. And our little box that's going to pop up is created. So that's not at all hard to do. Now, when you use it, you want it, at least in everything that I've done so far, you want it to fold forward when it's flat and then pop up. So um, we can take it and push, and then you know this is the front, and then this is the bottom. So we have a... a it marked the front and the bottom. Now I am going to use this BAM box in a box I created with um, Karen's new slider box die set. So I'm going to make a BAM surprise inside a slider box. Now I uh, am not going to demo making this box as I'm featuring the BAM box pop up in this video. But again, Karen's website has videos on how to put all her dies together and of course she's the expert. So I have created a Valentine Day fun gift um, for a friend. And um, the box is very easy to put together um, with that die set. And I have the um, a heart um, on top, and then my friend is going to open it up. And we're going to put a surprise inside. So um, I have marked the bottom and the front. And you can use a good strong glue to do this, but um, I've decided to use a really good strong um, red liner tape here. So that was on the front, and this is on the bottom. So I'm going to put the uh, pop-up message on the front. And then this is going to go in here. And I'll press it down and secure it. You see how strong that is? That pops right back up. Um, I'm going to put some candies in here. And slide it in. And then when my friend gets it, she's going to open it up. And the happy heart day message will pop up and she'll get some candies. So that's a fun way that you can use that um, BAM box. Um, another way to create a fun pop-up surprise with that same slider box die set that I showed you, which creates this, and another die set that um, Karen came out with in this most recent uh, release is the Surprise Cube pop-up. So for another friend's birthday, I have a happy birthday butterfly, and then um, when I I pull this out, the two boxes pop up and say surprise. 
with some pretty butterflies and then I gave a gift card inside. So um, that's another fun way that we can use BAMs and surprises to give special gifts. So I wanted to make a special surprise graduation card. And I love to use a school cards colors um, when I know them. So in this case, I'm doing gold and maroon. Of course, I would just wanted to mention that um, um, all the details to all the projects that I share today are in my blog posts. And there are links to those blog posts as well as the products featured in my description box. So make sure you check that out. So um, I am going to create a graduation card. I... Um, got this really cool die from uh, Trinity Stamps and it says congratulations and it's a graduation gown of course and I just really love that and I want that to pop up on the inside of my card so um, I have cut that out with two different colors this is going to be the card front um, and I use the flap and closure die from Karen Berniston to put a flap on here. Now this is a 11 by 5 piece of good strong cardstock and I folded it in half to make a top folding card and then I added that flap and because the flap has a back on it I just put a um, piece of maroon cardstock on the back and then on the inside I just put a decorative piece in there so um, that's set up. Um, I have created another BAM box, um, f just the same way I just showed you, and so that's ready to go. I have a flap uh, layer ready to go, and a graduation hat. So, um, I will be honest and tell you I did have some struggles with the strength of the BAM box and getting the cards to even to lay even semi flat with the magnets I normally used. So I purchased the ones that Karen recommends from K and J Magnetics. I have a link to the that in my description box as well. Um, these are the exact ones she recommends, and they're very inexpensive. They're 20 cents a piece, and normally the ones I have are several dollars a piece. So they're really inexpensive. I got a hundred of them, but I'll be honest with you again and say they're very, very, very strong. And um, I watched the video on the safe way to um, to take them apart, and I don't have a lot of strength in my wrist. Um, I broke it many years ago had three surgeries I don't have a lot of strength so I did struggle a little bit but if you get them I tried and tried and I did figure out how to slide them apart so it is possible to do that and you maybe would have no problem whatsoever um, but they're very very strong I just want to let you know so once you do get them apart um, don't let them snap back together because, well, for one thing, it's not apart anymore, and also they can crack. Um, I have taken two of them, um, three sets of two, and put them on another magnetic surface, and I'm keeping them far enough apart that they don't, I hope, uh, go back together, and I have them prepared. And um, because this BAM box is very strong, I'm going to use three sets of them um, and I'm going to hide them under here uh, with another flap. So I just took a pencil and I marked on there um, where that flap will be and um, where to put the magnets. And then I'm also going to hide three under the front cover. So, um, but again, at 20 cents a piece, we can use six of them. Um, the other ones that I was using, that would make a very, very, very expensive card. So I generally don't do that. So. What I'm going to do is um, I have some glue dots ready to go and I am going to put um, glue dots on top of these if I can see where they are. I might have to cut these down a little bit. Two, 
to. Nope. I have one on with my finger here, so let's see if I can get that one on here. All right. Now I'm going to slide these off and put them down. I am want one on the side here, one here and one here. That's the plan anyway. We think we can do it. Now there's two together, but um, I am doing that deliberately. So now I'm going to take three more glue dots and put them on top here. What did we do without glue dots? <sighs> I use them all the time. Uh, and now I'm going to press that down so the magnets will stick right where they need to be. And um, I am going to take some glue Cover these up with a flap. While I'm holding that, I will erase these lines that kind of told me where the flap was maybe going to be. It's down a little lower, but I want to make sure that magnet gets covered. And then I want to put the card front on. I have to wait for that to set up. <laughs> and I can see I need a little more glue on my flap. Which is the only frustrating part about glue, right? But I wouldn't want to cover those magnets like with a good strong tape or anything. So you're going to want to use a glue, I think, to get that to stay in place. In the meantime, I have another uh, box ready to go, and I marked the front and the bottom. And I have that congratulations, um, uh, which is really cool. I, I cut it out with an oval and covered the oval with a back. And I have a hat, um, which is a grad hat from um, Dies to Die For. So let's see. This holds it um, very, very, very flat. And of course, the important thing is it's going to hold it flat once we put our pop-up element in here. <clears throat> but I believe it will. Um, I hope, I hope. I just lost my BAM box. <clears throat> I love the name. I just, just think it is just so fun. And there is so many things that we could pop up with this. And once I figured those magnets out, you can use a... Um, you know, a, a strip of cardstock, the word is not coming to me, um, to slide off. But it seems to me to get, get it to really, um, bam, really pop. 
um, if you're sliding something off it's going to be kind of gradual I just like the idea of something really popping you know so um, I um, I like the magnets I think once you open it then it really pops which is fun belly band that was the word yeah sometimes the words come right away but it was a belly you can use a belly band um, if you don't want to bother with uh, magnets okay so that is holding it very well now that I did have difficulty with with um, the other magnets I was using but see how you know you could you couple magnets still because it's a little thick but but that is holding it really well and we do this and it pops right up it would be a wonderful can you see that display for somebody um, I just think that's really cool all right and then I have this little graduation hat which I am going to attach with a glue dot that is now on my pencil. <laughs> but we will get it off, I think. Hip, hip, hooray. And then um, we open it, and our congratulations pops right up. Very, very cool. I love how that turned out and I had so much fun making these BAM pop surprises and I hope the projects I shared today encourage you to try some of the ideas and products featured. Watch the next video for more ideas with Karen Berniston's dyes and find some time this week to have some fun and be creative.